Let me be the first to welcome you to the 3D world of AutoCAD. And right now we're looking at a, a blank drawing. Now once you take a look at the lower left hand corner, there you see the UCS icon and the W. This basically represents the world coordinate system that we're using right now. Were you aware that every drawing you've created, even if it was only 2D, was created in a 3D database? That's true. Watch what happens. Why don't you draw a uh, rectangle with me? Just select this, and we don't care about the size. Just kind of drag it out there. Go ahead and just drag it in that fashion. One of the things that I want you to look at is the fact that the view that we're working in, this window we're working in, even though it, it appears to be 2D, we're actually working in a 3D cube. Come up to the view pull down, and I want you to select the word 3D viewpoint, and you can see that Autodesk has predefined some of these for us. If you come down to where it says Southwest Isometric, take a look at that block we just created, or this rectangle. Notice how the world coordinate system has rotated from a southwest orientation and you're looking at this particular two-dimensional profile as two-dimensional rectangular shape. So it's important to know that every window you're dealing with actually has a predefined third dimension that we haven't used at this point. Now probably the best way to discover the 3D viewing tools is to actually open up a 3D file. Come up to the word file open and uh, we won't save any changes to this blank drawing and I want you to find one called 3dcab.dwg go ahead and press the open button now again if you don't find this file this file is found under the soft tutor examples directory wherever you've placed it it may have been some other uh, drive but more likely will be on a C drive now this is our cabinet this is a three-dimensional cabinet that's been created, and what I want you to see here, first of all, there is no W, so it's telling, you, telling me right now that we're not using the world coordinate system, uh, but we do have a three-dimensional space. If we go back to the word view and we select 3D viewpoint, southwest isometric, pick, pick it with the left mouse button, notice that we're looking at our cabinet from a 3D orientation. Now, I realize that if you keep selecting the word view and you keep going through these options, it will slow you down. So we do need to show you some of the tools that you do have. Put your cursor somewhere in between some icons like this. Touch the right mouse button and the toolbars dialog box will pop open. Slide all the way down. Click right here where it says viewpoint. And the viewpoint toolbar will actually open. And then you can press close to close the dialog box. Let's take a look at some of these tools very quickly. All right, the first one we want to look at is this one right here. It's a top view. Select that, and you notice how it rotates this cabinet. So now you're looking at it from a top view orientation. Select the next one here, and it's a back view. And you can see that the XY has also rotated to accommodate you looking at this from the bottom side. Here we have the left side. And I think it's fairly easy to look at uh, when you look at these icons. Any colored area is the area that we're actually dealing with. Now, very important is this icon that now appears on the lower left-hand corner. See, with AutoCAD in 3D, it's important to understand that how you are viewing your drawing will determine where you are drawing in 3D space. So right now, you have a broken pencil. That's at least what's supposed to be looking like, so if you can't understand what that icon really is. It's really a broken pencil. It's just a warning to tell you that you may be able to draw on this window, but it's no guarantee that it's going to be planar to a surface or a three-dimensional space uh, that you've defined. So you got to be careful uh, when you begin to draw. Take a look to see what kind of icon you have on the lower left-hand corner. Let's go select a front view here. Notice it'll rotate it to a front view orientation. Again, I get this broken pencil. And then here, you're going to see things like the southwest. Here's the southeast orientation. Again, northeast and the northwest. All right. And probably one of the most common ones is looking at the southwest side. Now, again, remember that when you're dealing with 3D, the first thing you need to be comfortable with is understanding that you're working not only with the 3D file, but that your viewports are also 3D you have the ability to rotate the 
view based on the orientation that will best help you describe and draw and create whatever objects you're trying to create.